Leg extensions are one of my favorite ways to target the quad muscles. They are great to just isolate those quads and you can really squeeze them out to get super good engagement and strength and mass growth. But you almost always need a machine or some form of equipment to be able to do leg extensions. Today, I'm going to show you a way to set leg extensions up using only resistance bands so that no matter where you are, you can set these up and get the benefits. So to set this exercise up, what you're going to need is a low anchor point. So I'm using a wall anchor here, but you can use a door anchor strap or anything that, to be able to anchor your bands at, as close to the floor as possible. And then the next thing you're gonna need, obviously, is a 41 inch resistance band. You'll need at least one of these, if not a few more to, to progress through your sets. And then to hook them to your feet, we are going to be using a 13 inch mini band that you can also pick up from Clench Fitness. And then the last thing that you're gonna need is a bench or a chair or something that you can sit on that will allow the band to pass underneath of it. And you'll have to optimize the height this bench is around 18 inches, and then I got another pad on there that takes it up to about 20 inches of height. That'll be different for everybody, and I'll show you how in a second here. So to set this up, you have your 41 inch band anchored to your low anchor point, and then you're going to grab your bench and bring it right over top of the band and set it up so that the band comes through so that you can hook it up to your feet. So what you're gonna need, set this thing down, get the pad kind of centered, and then you're gonna sit right down on the bench. And then to hook this up, we're going to use the mini band, and we're gonna hook it right around one of our feet here. And then we are going to grab the 41 inch band, thread it through the mini band, or thread the mini band through the 41 inch band. And then we're gonna hook the other side of that mini band right around our foot. And then just get everything nice and even so that it's centered. And then the next thing that we're going to do, since I don't have any tension here, I'm going to stretch my legs out about as far as I can go, plant them onto the floor, and then I'm gonna scoop my bench right out there. So now I have some decent tension here, and you notice that I'm sitting high enough so that my feet don't rub on the floor while I'm doing this exercise. And you'll need to optimize that. Like I said, this is about a 20 inch height and that's gonna be different for everybody, so just find what you're using. Obviously, you don't need a bench. You can use a chair or anything that'll allow that band to kind of pass underneath while being kind of stable. And then to execute the rep, it's super simple. So you get a little bit more tension. Get, make sure you have good tension at the bottom of this rep. So that's where you're gonna fall short is if you don't have enough tension. So you can always scoot kind of further away from that anchor point to give yourself more tension because as you stretch, the further you stretch that band, the more tension that it puts out. Then to execute the rep, get yourself in a comfortable position that's balanced and so that you can hang on to something while you're doing this. And then all you're doing is that leg extension. You're extending your legs out all the way, big squeeze on those quads at the top, and then let it down nice and slow and controlled. And just executing those reps. And then if you need more tension, like I said, you can just scoot yourself a little bit further away Keep going so these are great for like drop sets or just being able to increase and decrease that resistance slightly based on how much the band is being stretched and now as you get stronger and stronger in this you can obviously add more 41 inch bands um, you might have to either add another 13 inch mini band or something so that everything is being able to be held by that mini band personally I find this purple 13 inch mini band, I can usually stack at least a couple of black bands, if not like a purple band and a black band together to get some decent tension here. But ultimately, that is how you set these up and they should be really comfortable and they should allow you to get plenty of tension throughout the entire range of motion. And you'll notice with these that as I progress through the range of motion, that band is gonna get tighter and tighter and produce more and more resistance so that at that peak contraction, I have the most resistance on the band, which is great for really pounding out these quads and getting them fired up and fully engaged at the top of the rep. All right, so obviously once you're done doing the reps and you're done with the set, you'll need to kind of scoot yourself back to unhook. So you basically just kind of stand on the floor, 
back that bench up to a point where there's no tension on the band and then you just slip your foot out and it's that easy to get out of this setup and bump your weight up or down for the next set. Another thing that you can use to set these up are the neoprene Velcro ankle straps. You can find these on Amazon or wherever. Um, this just happens to be one that we're working on for Clench Fitness. If you like these, be sure to drop down in the comments that you like these and you want these because they are not released yet. So to hook these up, it's really easy. All you have to do is wrap it around your ankle, get it nice and tight. You want it to be nice and tight. That's a, that's a key thing here because they don't, you don't want them to slide up while you're doing this exercise. So you strap it around your ankle and then there's the carabiner. I like to hook that thing right across both of these D-rings D to keep it nice and tight when there's tension. And then obviously we're gonna rotate it to the back of our leg because that's what we're pulling. And then with this, you wanna have probably two resistance bands, one for each leg. Um, that's gonna depend mostly on the size of the carabiner that you're using. You wanna be able to fit both of the bands inside of the carabiner. So to hook this up, you just wrap this around our anchor point and then thread it underneath. And then it's pretty much the same thing as before. So we're gonna hook one, in this case, we're hooking one band up to each leg. So just make sure to select the tension appropriately based on how much you can do. But it's pretty simple. You're just hooking those bands up. And now it's the same thing as before. So we have to scoot that bench way out, get tension on these bands so that we can have plenty of tension at the bottom. And then what's cool about this now is we have one band on each leg. So I can do, you know, bilateral leg extensions if I want, or I can set it up so to do individual unilateral leg extensions. And it's also pretty comfortable. I do notice that there's the pressure kind of pulling up on those ankle straps. So you want to make sure that those things get nice and tight but it's honestly the same concept as what we just showed you in the, the first setup, except that now we're using some ankle straps to make it a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more, a little bit easier to set up. Um, to dismount, it's the same thing as before. You just kind of scoot yourself back till the tension comes off and then unhook your resistance bands and you can go up or down in resistance and then jump right into your next set. There's a couple of variations to get you rolling on resistance band leg extensions. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Also click that subscribe button if you wanna see more of this content. And if you need any of the bands and accessories shown today, please be sure to head over to clenchfitness.com. We'll hook you up. And as always, thank you for watching.